Geodesign Barriers P101 Industrial Flood Barrier Setup Guide for Wall Connection Construct the barrier starting from the wall. Position the barrier supports on the ground, starting with the first one flush against the wall. Unfold each support and lock it in the upright position using the snap lock. Continue by mounting the metal panels. Align the keyhole cutouts with the mount buttons, then slide the panel down to lock it in place. Assemble and mount the wall connection plate kit. Mount the wall connection pad onto the wall connection plate using cable ties. Align the eyelets with the square cutouts on the plate. Thread a cable tie through the holes and tighten it. Repeat for the other pair of holes. Now mount the wall connection kit onto the barrier support closest to the wall. Align the keyhole cutout on the wall connection plate with the mount button on the support, then slide it down to lock it in place. Ensure the pad is folded up against the wall. Mount the wall batten onto the wall. Start by determining the placement for the wall batten, ensuring it will be covered by the polyliner. A simple way to gauge the distance is to place the polyliner roll on the ground, then position the wall batten slightly inside the edge of where the liner will cover. Next, mark the spots for drilling. Hold the wall batten in its correct position and use a pen or a sharp tool to mark the three drill points through the holes in the batten. Then drill the holes at the marked points to prepare for the bolts. Remove the top plate of the wall batten and secure the base to the wall using appropriate bolts. Roll out the polyliner. Roll out the polyliner and extend it up the wall. Trim the excess liner above the wall batten if necessary. Unfold it over the top and secure it with panel clips. Secure the liner against the wall. Secure the liner in the wall batten by placing it over the base and under the top plate, ensuring it's tightly held between them. If needed, make holes in the liner for the bolts. Fasten the top plate with wing nuts to firmly secure and squeeze the liner in place. Lastly, place chains on top of the liner at the base of the wall. Add chain lengths along the liner's edge then hang garland chains over the barrier. Secure the edge chain with cable ties. And that's how you connect the P101 industrial flood barrier to a wall. For more detailed information and additional resources, visit geodesignbarriers.com.